You want to know why? I'll tell you why. The game of FIFA is not what it seems. In fact it's thousands of years old. But let me back up a little. A long time ago, a dark entity called Seth visited this planet. And with him he brought destruction, darkness, great misfortune and death. Mankind tried to fight back, but it was to no avail. When Seth finally got bored millions had already died. So Seth proposed a challenge to mankind. In his hands he brought a game forged somewhere in the darkest pit of the universe. The game we know as FIFA. For whoever would beat him would prove this planet is worth its existence. He gave mankind one year to prepare for battle. A young skilled lad called Aaron took up the challenge. Soon he found out the players in the game are sorted by different tiers of power. There are the basic players who are nothing special but important to fill up the team. Next in line are the Guardians. Very useful and powerful weapons in battle but also very rare and hard to find. But to beat Seth, Aaron had to find one of the extremely rare ancients. The most destructive and forceful players of their kind. Today Aaron's ancient is known as the greatest who ever graced the pitch. An ancient called Michael Jadson. With his help he beat Seth and saved mankind. But not for long. Seth was here to stay and promised to come back from time to time to test if mankind is still worth his mercy. This happened nine times so far and every time the challenge got harder. And every time a hero accompanied by an ancient was able to fight back. The fourth hero had an ancient called Waldivia. Very cocky but extremely powerful. And this is where our story starts. You know everything you need to know at this given moment. So you're telling me this Seth is back? Sadly that's true. And he's more dangerous than ever. So what the fuck do I have to do with this? You are the only one with a connection to what I believe is the hero of our time. And who would that be? Do you know it, George? Holy shit we're fucked. Why would you say that? Well for starters his IQ is somewhere between a remote and a rock. But he was able to pull in more than one ancient. I've never seen that before. And I've seen all of them. How is that possible? That's not important for now. You need to bring me his current team. I need to see his players. Mankind depends on it. Why don't you do it yourself? I can't do it. If you won't do it we already lost the battle. Well fuck my life. Okay I will ask him. You have to do it in secret. He cannot know about this for now. Fucking hell. Man what a beautiful day to own some faggots. Let's get over the essentials in the morning and then play some FIFA, potty time. I'm Lance. Hey Lance, watch some cartoons. I'm Lance. Hey Lance. Ice cream ice cream ice cream ice cream, one ice cream please. Nice. I'ma eat dad. I'm Lance. Alright. Time to get fucking real. Well we reached the round of 16 in pretty epic fashion and got some bonerific new players. I mean silly Leva is like who is this arrogant bitch. And Poopy Poopy is like who is that ass hat. Well it's fucking gamer. At least Ramirez is thinking yeah. I'll tap that. Goodbye baby Jeff. Hello to the dirtiest of all the Sanchez. And of course. Wow. I feel so much power flowing through my hands. Instant boner. Welcome back Baldivia. Sorry JC69 but of course cocky Baldivia is our new captain. Okay let's give our new heroes fitting chemistry styles. Cocky Baldivia will be a maestro I mean what else. Gamer will get a pretty gay new engine and Dirty Sanchez is now Dirty Hunter Sanchez. So this team was ready to fuck shit up. This was my enemy, fuck damn. But it was time to move on time to win the fucking World Cup. Somehow I feel that this is important. But I can't put my schlung on it so far. 
So of course Cristiano Ronaldo tried something first but we had Bicca Kicka Kasik to save Nice work there Bicca Kicka Kasik, wow. It's Ball Devia. Wow is he smooth. Perfect. That guy is special. Wow it shot fucked up my controller. Holy balls. That guy will score faux shizzle. Valdivia continued to mesmerize with pinpoint passes but gamer well as gamer. This guy didn't just take control over the game. He more or less was the whole game. Sadly dirty hunter Sanchez was not able to capitalize. God damn it Gurren Weasley. Nice. So of course it was again Valdivia who got us a corner with a fan fucking tastic shot. Di Maria whipped it in and Dirty Hunter Sanchez took over the duty. One smooth move later. And... Dirty. Sanchez. Oh Valdivia. You're right. We haven't won anything yet. No premature ejaculation celebration. So who else than Valdivia almost scored the next wonder goal? Oh shit oh fuck Ronaldo fuck fuck. Nice. I don't have to tell you who played the next awesome pass. This had to be it. And the perfect cross. Come on you can do it you Ron Weasley. God damn it fucking bullshit burn all the gingers man. Oh well next corner. So Bernhard played the ball to the dirtiest of all the Sanchez. This can't work twice, or can it? Dirty. Sanchez. Let's fuck. Shit up. This is Dirty Sanchez. Go Dirty Sanchez. Go go Dirty Sanchez. Go go Dirty Sanchez. Go go Dirty Sanchez. Go go Dirty Sanchez. Go. So we were comfortable up by two goals but of course Valdivia kept pounding away and kept the penetration high. Well finally we reached half time. George don't you wanna take a small break? Why should I? Is there an evil entity kickstarting a big story going into FIFA 15 and you have to take a screenshot of my team to see if my team is good enough to beat it? Holy shit. Well... No. Julio. Hum. I think I can spank my schlong one or two times during half time. You didn't take a picture of my team for a secret man that I don't know did you? No I looked at. I looked at. Pornography. No. Pervert. We should watch together sometime. We better not. So the first thing we did in the second half was substitute Bernhard for Boss Carson. And Boss Carson immediately showed what he is capable of. A few smooth moves but his shot was pretty poopy. And sure enough the cocky maestro didn't stop as well. This monster is so fucking overpowered. He is special. A special player for special occasions. Let's just watch his magic and take it all in. Cocky. Game. Set. Match. Bitches. Camel toe, well it didn't matter. Mondragon the mother of dragons used all his experience to get this ball and was catching fire with his pinpoint passes. In the end ex-captain JC69 and Dirty Hunter Sanchez played some nice passes but the dirtiest of all the Sanchez could not convert his chance. So we made the very important step to the quarterfinals. Whatever my destiny might be, here I fucking come. You're sure this is his team? Why the fuck would I lie? Well, it's worse than I thought. There is a traitor among his players, but it's unbelievable he already found another powerful ancient. The problem is he only has one guardian. That's not nearly enough. So we're officially lost? Not yet. I've got the power to summon two guardians, but I'll need time. We've got a long road ahead of us. And who knows? Maybe George will find some special players himself. Well let's hope so.
Guys. Long time no see. First of all I hope you like the direction this is taking. Well this is barely scratching the surface of the story. This is more like a prequel for the big one in FIFA 15. Well I've got two questions for you. The first one is who do you think is the traitor? And the second one is who is the only guardian in our team? If you want you can subscribe to my channel. Give this video 5 billion Gajinga Dinosaur likes. Follow me on Twitter. Or follow me on Facebook if you prefer that. I'll post there from time to time. You'll find the link in the description below. George is out dancing with manatees. See you bitches.